Okay, good. So, examples of linear programming. Uh, here is first example. Okay. Um, first thing you have to be able to do is you have what you've actually been graphing are called constraints. Believe it or not, what you've been graphing is called constraints. So you want to be writing this down, Brandon. All right. The constraints are the, for this chapter, they're going to be the lines you graph. And actually, they're linear inequalities. You're also going to get something called an objective quantity. And that is going to be the equation which gives you the answer. Okay? Constraints are the lines you graph. That's what you've been doing. You've been graphing constraints. Because think about it. You were actually constraining various regions on the xy coordinate plane with those linear inequalities we worked on. Is it like the dog leash and the other thing? It's more like a dog yard now, but yeah, it is like that. It is like that. But now it's like a whole dog yard instead of a dog leash. Um, it can actually be two-dimensional. I'm going to go right into an uh, example of this. And for now, it's just going to be setting one up. Okay? So here's an example of one. Um, you're running a factory, and you're making two similar items. And you're having machines do most of the work. What are two items you could be making that are kind of similar? Pens and pencils. They're actually really different mechanically, actually. Well, it's mechanical pens and pencils would work. But not regular yeah, pencils and pens are really different. What about dolls and teddy bears? <laughs> That's weird. What kind of girl are you? <laughs> um, dolls and teddy bears? Uh, pens and mechanicals, pencils, actually a good answer. We'll try to leave a better one for next time. So, if you are manufacturing pens and Suddenly I can't spell. Um, mechanical <laughs> pencils. Okay? Manufacturing pens and mechanical pencils. Alright, now what happens is these machines you've got, you have two machines that do most of the work for you. Okay? Two machines do most of your work. Alright? The let's make sure I write this correctly. Alright, the um the pens require two minutes on machine one and one minute on machine two. So can you picture this? It's like a giant conveyor belt. What do they do two different uh, machines for each thing? Not necessarily, if they're similar enough. Pens and mechanical pencils might be similar enough. And in real life, you're going to have, if you're really doing this for a factory, you're going to have like nine machines and 11 equations. So we're doing a really super simple version of it. Okay? The pencils... require one minute on machine one and three minutes on machine two. Here's where this gets constraining. Here's where that word constraint starts having meaning. For whatever reason, maybe you're renting the equipment, maybe you're sharing it with somebody else, Maybe you can only afford so much electricity. Maybe this thing runs on coal. I don't know. Um, maybe it runs on fairy dust. You can only afford so much of it. But for whatever reason, you can only afford a hundred and eighty minutes on machine one. 
and 300 minutes. on machine two. You can only afford 180 minutes on machine one and 300 minutes on machine two. This is actually enough information to start graphing, but I am going to give you another little piece of information. <coughs> it's not so much that I spelled it wrong, it's so much as my letter E is really hideous. That wasn't supposed to be an E is the sad thing. Now here's where you guys might get a little bit more interested. You make a $1 profit. Which one of these? On the Which one did I go? On the pens. And a dollar 20 profit on Pencils. I don't know why the pencils are so much more popular. So much more profitable. All right. Any questions on any of the statements I wrote? Any other misspellings? Any other? You guys get what all this means in English? Yes. No. Maybe. No. Okay. No, I <laughs> all right. So you're making pens and pencils. The pen. They both have. You've got machines doing the assembly for you, or some part of the assembly. I don't know, maybe you're making them by hand, and maybe the machines just paper. Not how many minutes it takes for these to make as many pencils as we can get. Not how many minutes. We're going to figure out how to best allocate this resources. This is telling you how much, how many, what you have in some sort of resource. That's what these problems are about. And your resource in this case is time on the machines. Yeah, but we already, but the first, sorry, can I Yeah, go ahead. The first time, uh -huh. it, I mean, it, it tells us how much it requires for each machine to make that certain thing. Yeah. If we can only afford a certain amount of minutes for each machine, are we going to determine how many pencils and pens we can make in that amount of time? Yes. Yes. Very good. And then make the profit? Or are we going to make the profit? Well, the profit's going to be what determines, there's a couple things. Like, you've done some problems before, like, how many of uh, two different crops should you plant if you want to use your whole budget or whatever. But here, what you're trying to do, you have a goal. Okay? The goal is... Optimization. And optimization, okay, is where you use, this is where you use your objective quantity equation. These are a lot of annoying words for some really not that complicated ideas. But in a situation like this, what do you think you want to optimize? There's one word I've written on that board. That if you're working for a business, you should start thinking, that's what I want. Well, well first off, what does optimize mean? Yeah, you're with me. Does everyone know what optimize means? Yeah, optimize, well, optimal, optimum actually means either the maximum or the minimum. Okay? If it's a profit, do you think we want a maximum or minimum profit? Maximum. If it's a cost, do you think we want a maximum or minimum cost? Minimum. So an optimal situation can be a maximum, can be a minimum. But we're going to try and optimize this, and the equation you want to optimize is your objective quantity. A lot of big words for ideas, but Jordan's right. And if the one word up there that I would want to maximize if I worked for business is profit. That's what someone who's good at this sort of math is going to be hired to do. Now, uh, usual thing. Let's identify an X and a Y. What do you think X and Y are going to be? Pens and pencils. Pens and pencils. Somebody's been doing these word problems a long time. I'm going to say X is pens. I'm going to say Y is pencils. And now the objective quantity is the equation of what you want to optimize. I'm going to make a profit equation. What is my profit equal? Um, 300 minutes. Now 300 minutes is time on a machine. A dollar and 20. It's, well, close. It's going to be something X. X is the number of pens, I should say. Y is the number of pencils. So X equals um, $1.20? Oh, yeah, nope. yeah. Or a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, go, Brandon. One X. One X, because you make $1 one multiplied times however many pens you sell. Plus $1.20Y. Yeah. Plus $1.20Y, because you make $1.20 for however many pens you sell.